Welcome back to the Crafter's Cauldron. Today I'm going to be making a reusable duster head. It fits most of your general brands, but mostly obviously made for Swiffer. It's got two little tunnels that you can put the ends in. First things first, I'm going to grab this old shirt that is getting pretty worn out and I am not wearing it at all. So instead of donating it where it's probably going to go into a textile recycling thing or be thrown away, I will just use it. So first things first, I've got four layers here. I'm going to cut out a rectangle that it's that's approximately 12 by four. Since I had two layers, I'm going to split the 12 by four fabric in half and then fold it in half so it measures approximately six by four. Then I'm gonna make a pen line down the middle. It doesn't, nothing about this is perfect. It's just a quick and easy way to replace your dusters and get some use out of some fabric you're not using. So then I'm going to place the two folded halves together. I've got four layers of fabric here. I want the bottom of the duster to be folded so that it's easy to stick the duster head into the pockets. This is a problem I have a lot with commercial dusters, is that it's hard to find the holes, so making sure that you have folds on those really helps a lot. So then, if your fabric isn't pre-washed, I'd recommend putting your pocket lines a little further out, since mine's definitely been pre-washed. I'm going to put them roughly a half inch out. If you've got a Swiffer head and you want to test it, that's not a bad idea. Mine is not in the studio right now, so I can't measure it. I'm just gonna go ahead and sew down both sides here. If you notice me struggling at all, the sewing machine I'm using has the dullest needle on the face of the planet, and I don't want to go find a new one because they're all packed away somewhere. So we're gonna kind of struggle through this, <laughs> but it definitely sews. So as you can see, I've got two holes that we'll be able to stick our little prongs in. I'm gonna try to keep up with cutting my threads as much as possible. I'm pretty bad about this. And then once we've got our four layers sewn together, I'm going to go ahead and get our fleece that really helps adhere to the dust. For the middle pieces, I'd usually use flannel, but I didn't have any flannels I was wanting to dispose of, so we have cotton. And so for the fleece, most of the lengths are about eight to nine inches. These are all leftover tails from making Kumihimo woven dog to toys. Link down below for a tutorial on those. And I'm just gonna fold them in thirds and lay them along that center line. Once I've got them laid out the way that I want, I am just going to stitch right down the center. As you can see, I don't mark because what what's gonna happen? It's fine. <laughs> it does not need to be perfect. Um, my sewing machine definitely struggled with this. This is three layers of fleece, sometimes six, and then four layers of cotton, so definitely pretty thick. This is a pretty good workhorse of a machine, but not when you've dulled the needle a million times over and refused to change it. So we're going to sew each of those down to that middle line after line, and then once we're done, we're going to flip it over and do the exact same thing, lay out some more fleece. These sections are about an inch and a half, so it more or less comes out to six inches, but once again, these are just the scraps. I usually use them for stuffing or something and realized, oh, there's a better way I can use these. Dusters! And that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> So then I'm going to cut any of the loops and trim any of the ends that maybe have selvage ends or whatever if I don't want those. And then once I've done that, it's time to cut all of the frays. So on each of my inch and a half pieces, I was able to split that into thirds. You can do more, you can do less, you can vary it, you can make really tiny pieces. If you make really tiny pieces, they might get caught and torn off, but you know. Experiment, see what fabrics work best for you. I'm literally just using actual trash, so this is the ultimate trash panda recycling video of I take my fabric scrap basket and make something useful out of it. Anyway, on the cotton pieces, since I folded it over in the beginning, I just need to cut along that folded edge so that they can... Um, be a little more free-flowing at the bottom, and then I'm going to trim the top two layers. So remember, I have eight layers total. So the top two layers, I'm gonna trim about a half inch off. That way we get some more variation in length. 
And then I am absolutely not going to measure anything and just snip with my scissors in close but carefully not to the lines that we sewed earlier because we don't want to cut into the pockets. Alrighty, once we've gone through and trimmed everything on this side, I'm just going to flip it over and repeat the process. All in all, this took maybe 15-20 minutes, and honestly, seeing the price of the duster heads, especially the 360 ones, well worth the time. These are washable, reusable, and there you have a little duster! It might take a while for all of the fibers to kind of loosen up and wash out any loose ones. I would definitely recommend washing before using, just to ruffle up things a little more, but have fun dusting! and subscribe to see what bubbles out of the cauldron next.